right, Sabrina, you're up. What spell have you been working on this week? Well, actually, Mr. Snipe, since it's your birthday today, I've been working on a special birthday cake spell. Oh, how thoughtful, Sabrina. <laughs> Ordinary. Bravo! Looks like a delicious A to me. But the candles aren't even lit. No problem, though. Come on. <laughs> ah, my bad. <gasps> okay, I can fix it. Douse the fire, stop the threat, rain a little, very wet. <laughs> mm, not bad. <laughs> Oh, great. It rained a little furry pet. <laughs> nice touch. Oh my gosh, you're the cutest little thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, I'm keeping you. Honey, be happy that he's letting you do the assignment over. Back in my day, we would have been booted out of witch school. I know I did the spell right. It just was like my magic got a boost. That's how I got little Spunky here. Oh! <laughs> I think he smiled at me. No, he smiled at me. So can I keep Spunky? <laughs> how could we say no to that face? <laughs> Aren't we forgetting Salem's a cat? Are you kidding? He'll love him. Are you kidding? I'll love him. With a little salt, a little pepper, he'll fit right in. Don't even think about it. Spunky is my new pet. And what am I? You're a warlock turned into a cat for trying to take over the world. Not exactly cuddly pet material. You cut me deep, Sabrina. And clean this place up. Spunky could get hurt in here. You better believe it. What was that? I said, you better believe it'll be done by the time you get home from school tomorrow. <laughs> There's something I don't like about that little furball. Can I begin? As you can see, I have my flame retardant suit on, so that means you can begin, Sabrina. I'm going to do a variation of the birthday spell and do an Earth Day birthday spell, which should, uh, work. Mr. Snipe, can I, like, be excused? I'm allergic to whatever catastrophe she's going to create. Let's try being a little supportive. Go ahead, Sabrina. Okay, you can do this. All you need is a birthday cake. Just warming up. <laughs> awesome, smell man. Dear, if it wasn't for Spunky, it would have been a total, complete, catastrophic disaster. Would you like some cake? Anything but. <laughs> oh, hello. Give me a break, Salem, okay? Just tell me you cleaned your room. Of course. When have I ever not done what I was told? Wait, don't answer that. Cat's honor, all put away, clean as a kitten. I've been waiting outside to show you. Voila! Salem! Holy guacamole! Sabrina, I swear I had everything put away. Don't lie to me, Salem. I'm telling you, I had this place sparkling. Why can't you be more like Spunky? <laughs> Dustball, 
you may have Sabrina wrapped, but I'm not buying it. Salem! Salem? Wake up! You were having a nightmare. Oh, oh, he, he turned into a hideous creature. He was going to eat me. Who? Him. Come on, Salem, stop with the jealousy. If you just give him a chance. It's not jealousy. I'm telling you there's something not right about him, and I'm gonna find out what. Just a little something I used to catch George Washington with that whole cherry tree thing. Hey, the magic of this ring is like a cosmic lie detector. It'll bust He-Rat over there once and for all. Ta-da! It's gone. Imagine that, a compulsive liar caught again. Sabrina, it was here, honest. You've cried wolf too many times, Salem. Good night. Spunky, you're so cute and talented. Unlike other pets around here, I bet you'd like to help me with my spells. No, Sabrina. Don't teach a monster like that magic. It's too dangerous. Get a grip, Salem. He's not a monster. I know there have been occasions in the past where I've stretched the truth a bit here and there. But this time, you've got to believe me. That thing is a horrible, vicious monster. <laughs> Talk about a scaredy cat. Salem, you're embarrassing me. Come on, Spunky. Let's go practice some magic. Maybe while you're gone, you can look for the tantric truth ring of Tanzania. And while you're at it, find a new attitude. Freeze, pussykins. Put the claws down and step away from the catnip. You gotta ask yourself one question. Do you feel lucky? Well, do you get? Who are you, the cliche squad? No, they're busy. We're Husky and Starch, detectives with a netherworld police. Look, that whole broomstick thing was a big misunderstanding. I was just borrowing... We're not here about the broomstick. Oh. Well, if you hear about the nine lives, they were mine. All ten of them. I s I, I mean, uh... Clam up, Mr. Cat. We're not here about any of your long list of questionable activities. We're looking for this bozo. Goes by the name of Carnivorous, a transforming warlock. He's as dangerous as he is ugly. We had him in lockup, high security, but he busted out by hitching a ride on the spell of some young W.I.T. W.I.T.? Witch in training. His main trick is transforming himself into this, becoming the pet of an unsuspecting young witch. And then he drains her magic, growing stronger and stronger. Until his victim is all used up and goes into an enchanted sleep. It's not pretty. Now, word on the street is, you may know something. Start talking, Whiskers. I might have a friend who knows something, but uh, he would be interested in some kind of reward. You help us and we'll put in a good word for you with the witch's council. Something that you haven't had for a few hundred years. What about getting them to turn me back into a powerful warlock? Don't push your luck. If you see Carnivorous, call us. And don't try to apprehend him yourself. He'd chew you up and spit you out like a bad hairball. The reward will be much bigger if I bring that little vermin in myself, with both the Council and Sabrina. Right here, Sabrina, let's get back to the basics. You know, jumpstart the old confidence. Let's try a straightforward levitation spell using your wand. Please, levitate this paper. It looks like Sabrina's forgotten everything we've learned. 
<laughs> okay, pal. This is a Cattison's arrest. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to an attorney. You have the... Whoa! And it seems you have the right to pound me senseless. <laughs> Salem, I can't believe you're picking on poor little Spunky. <laughs> me? Spunky? I... Oh. All right, cat. There's only one way I'm going to trust you. And that's by running your every word through a lie detector. So, tell the truth, understand? Yes. Hey, he's telling the truth! I know that. Just tell me when he's lying. Don't worry, I never lie. Mm, he's lying. Oops. All right. Here's the truth. I tried to bring him in alone, but he beat the kitty litter out of me. I need your help. I'm really worried about Sabrina. How am I supposed to know if you're telling the truth or not? You burned up the machine. You have to believe me. That nasty little monster is draining Sabrina's power. She's getting weaker. I can see it. She won't listen to me. Not that I blame her. <sighs> But I would just hate to see something horrible happen to her. She's a good kid. You have to help her. I don't know what's wrong with me. None of my magic seems to work. I can't even levitate paper. No fever. I can barely stay awake to do my homework. Ugh, I've been so sleepy. Maybe you're just trying too hard. Just try to relax. I'm sure things will go better next week. Why don't you go up and play with Spunky? Yeah, that might help. Hey, what's going on? Who are you? Netherworld Police, ma'am. Husky and Starch. We're the good guys. What do you want? Your cat here says you're harboring a vicious criminal fugitive disguised as a harmless pet. What? He said your cat here says you're harboring a... I heard what he said. Salem, I can't believe you. Telling lies to get poor, sweet little Spunky arrested just because you're so jealous. Spunky is my pet. He's not a fugitive, unlike some animals in this room. If you knew about Salem, you would know that he's a compulsive liar. And it looks like he's not going to change. Let's not get excited, ma'am. The fugitive we're after, carnivorous, is a shapeshifter. He could be your Spunky. We need to check it out. Spunky's no more fugitive than Salem is a compulsive non-liar guy. Besides, according to Netherworld law, which I just happened to be studying this semester, you have no authority here in this world. Well, she's right about that. <sighs> so if you don't mind, I'm really tired and I want to go to sleep. Nothing more we can do here. Where is he? Please, Sabrina, Spunky isn't what he seems. You have to trust me. <laughs> Spunky, there you are. Come on down. <laughs> Happy now? That's it, Salem. I've had it. I want you out of my room. No, I want you out of this house. But Sabrina, haven't you noticed that your magic is weakening? That you're sleepy all the time? It's all part of Spunky's evil plan. If you won't believe me, believe the evidence. Out! Now! All right, I can take a hint. But I'm not through with Spunky. Take this, reduced to roughing it like some toothless hermit. And the ultimate hardship, no satellite dish. There's nothing to watch. 
All right, stay focused, Salem. Maybe I should order some pizza. Well, pizza sounds good. Uh, excuse me? Ms. Spellman, wake up. Wake up. <sighs> wake up. Oh, so tired. Ms. Spellman, try to wake up. We need to get you to safety. I'm afraid that for once the cat wasn't lying. The trail checked out. We have every reason to believe that your pet Spunky is in fact not the cuddly little furball you think he is, but carnivorous, a dangerous criminal. What is it with everyone and Spunky? He's just a sweet little pet. See for yourselves. Spunky? It's okay, Spunky. You can come out. I won't let them hurt you. That's odd. Spunky? Where are you? Hmm. I wonder whose ring that is and what it's doing in Spunky's bed. I am the Tantric Truth Ring of Tanzania. Ask and ye shall know the truth. The Tantric Truth Ring of... Salem wasn't lying! Has he been telling the truth all along? Ma'am, we have every reason to believe that the cat could be Carnivorous's next victim. Where is the cat? I... I threw him out. I didn't believe him. Poor Salem. We have to find him before it's too late. I'm going with you. Our squad room is waiting outside. I'm not afraid of ghosts. I'm not afraid of ghosts. I'm not afraid of ghosts. I am, however, moderately concerned about transforming warlock monsters. Ah! There! That's Salem! Carnivorous! Freeze! Netherworld police! You're under arrest, Fang Face. So tired. Must help Salem. Clouds of black, clouds of gray. Rain the dangerous fires away. <laughs> Worked. Kinda. He's too powerful. I can't stop him. He's using your magic against you! It's part of his spell as your pet! <sighs> Evil warlock, your match you've met. My powers are mine, because you're not my pet. Another happy ending. Book him, Starch. You have the right to remain violent. Uh, I, I mean, I mean silent. You have the right to a torn knee. Uh, have you seen my reading glasses? Well, it's just us again. I'm sorry I didn't know when to believe you. You know that tantric truth ring of Tanzania of yours? What about it? Did you really use it to catch George Washington lying about the cherry tree? Oh, of course I did. I cannot tell a lie. Lie, 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 Always hated that thing.
Cookie Jar!